Velikai Iluki, a new Russian sub slated to join the fleet, is a sign of Moscow's anomalous undersea force. Third of the larder class of diesel electric submarines, Velikai Iluki's launching ceremony took place on December 2022, while Russia held its keel laying ceremony all the way back in 2015. In the end, Moscow plans to produce at least eight of these subs, according to Naval News. Unlike most countries that build nuclear-powered submarines, Russia also builds conventional, diesel-electric subs. Overall, the Lada class, which is cropping up about 12 years behind schedule illustrates the shortcomings of this approach, and how Russia is slowly falling behind in submarine warfare technology. Vlakai Iluki was named after a pivotal battle on the Eastern Front of World War II, when advancing Soviets surrounded a group of German troops encircling the town of Vlakai Iluki. The town garrison held out for two months before capitulating, and the battle has become a key part of the Soviet-Russian war narrative. Prior to Vlakai Iluki, Russia launched two other Lada-class subs St. Petersburg and Kronstadt. The Lada class was developed in the 1990s as the successor to the highly prosperous Project 877 class, known to NATO as the Kilo class. The submarines are 236 feet long with a beam of 23 feet, and have a crew of just 35. They are armed with six 533mm torpedo tubes which can accommodate guided torpedoes, anti-ship missiles, and land-attack cruise missiles. Their diesel-electric engines can drive the boats to 21 knots while submerged, but require the larders to surface periodically. Unfortunately, St. Petersburg ran into construction difficulties and financial issues, and the sub only entered service in 2010 a whopping 13 years after manufacturing began and the Lada class is still experiencing issues. It typically takes three years to build a submarine, but Vilikai Iluki, begun in 2015, was only finished in December 2022. The submarines were originally meant to use an air-independent propulsion system, which allows a conventionally powered sub to stay submerged for weeks at a time, but the project was a failure. In the meantime, the Russian Navy began purchasing subs of the Project 636.3 class, an updated version of the 877 and early 636 submarines, known to the rest of the world as the Improved Kilo class. Russia has been building nuclear-powered submarines for half a century, so why build conventionally powered ones? Navies that can build nuclear submarines, like the US. UK, and France, tend to build only nuclear-powered subs to the exclusion of all else. Only Russia and India buy both types of submarines. Russia is an enormous country that spans 12 time zones and borders 14 countries. Unlike the United States, whose submarines must travel thousands of miles to become operationally relevant, Russia's navy must only travel a short distance to encounter navies from the United States the rest of NATO, China, Japan, North Korea, and others. In many cases, nuclear propulsion is overkill, and nuclear submarines are much more expensive than their non-nuclear counterparts. Russia builds nuclear submarines to compete against NATO in deeper waters, while the conventional submarines can patrol closer to home. The Lada class is an example of what went wrong with Russia in the 1990s and even today. Many of Russia's warships built in the 1990s were only commissioned in the 2000s when Moscow was finally able to afford them. The failure to develop air-independent propulsion, an increasingly common feature among many of Russia's competitors, is indicative of the decline of Russia's submarine tech. Even Volikai Iluki, begun in 2015, took seven years to complete. 